It's hard to let go of a guy who won't commit when you feel a strong sense of chemistry with him. Let's face it, even if he's not a great guy. But it's even harder to let go of a man who can't commit when you admire, respect, and feel a strong sense of emotional connection with him. So today I'm gonna to show you what's the number one thing you can do to take back your power, reclaim your value, and get the love you deserve when you're really into him, but he can't commit to you. First things first, if you're going through this situation right now where you feel highly connected to someone and he's not moving forward, he's not taking the next steps, it's really, really challenging because inside your heart and mind, there's an experience that no one else seems to see. Your friends can tell you, please leave him. He's not worth your time. And inside of you, you're saying, well, you don't understand. You don't know how he looks at me. You don't know what we shared together. When it's good, it's really good. Some version of that is what you're telling yourself right now. And as a result of that, you keep staying in a situation that is less than you want, less than you deserve, but you don't know how to get out of it. So if you find yourself in this dilemma, and just to clarify, this video isn't about you're connecting with a guy who is abusive or a guy who's a super narcissist or a guy who's, that's, I have other videos on the topic. This is about you connect to a guy who's smart. You're connecting with a guy who is enthusiastic and charismatic. You connect to a guy who's emotionally aware. You're connecting with a guy who's ambitious. You're connecting with a guy who's good looking and exercises. Like This is a quality guy we're talking about, but he's not taking the steps to own the connection, he's not moving forward with the commitment level that you want him to take right now, whether that's exclusivity, whether that's engagement, whether that's marriage, he's holding back and you're not sure why he's doing that and you keep giving him whole passes and you're still stuck in this relationship that doesn't feel honoring of your two needs. So if you find yourself in the situation, I'm gonna share with you right now partly why this is taking place. This video is divided up into sections. First section is gonna be the three reasons why you are not moving forward and getting the love you deserve. The second part of this video will be what are the steps I need you to start taking starting today to reverse this trend that you're in right now and get the love you deserve, whether it's him or someone else who can show up stronger than him. Imagine that someone invites you to a gala event, and in this gala there's gonna be a bunch of celebrities, there's gonna be live music from the, your favorite musicians, there's also going to be a three Michelin star chef who's gonna cook dinner for everyone, and you get the gala invitation with the RSVP, and there's one box that says $5,000 for the ticket, another box that says free entry. Which one do you choose? This is not a thing where they're gonna donate the money to charity, it's just pure profit. More likely than not, you would choose free entry. Why would you choose to pay $5,000 when you can enter for free, right? In the same way, the reason this is continuing is because you are giving this guy free entry to your time, to your energy, to your body without the price of entry, which is commitment, emotional commitment, time commitment, vision commitment, not taking place. So why would he choose the difficult option when he gets the free pass. The first reason why you're stuck in the situation, if this sounds like you, is because you're doing something I call delusional optimism. Delusional optimism is where you think things will get better and they don't. And you have plenty of proof that they don't for the most part, but the little things he does give you hope. So for example, he's not committing to the level that, uh, of intimacy that you're seeking, he's not giving you the time and energy, he's not setting a vision for the relationship, but he does something really charismatic one day, or he really connects with you, or he says something beautiful. The commitment isn't taking place, but you take that little thread, which I call a breadcrumb, even if it's a grandiose breadcrumb, and you hold on to that as a projection that things are getting better. Things may not be getting better, but your emotional intensity at times makes you think that these things are getting better. Number two is there's a lack mentality taking place right now inside your heart. And that means that in some way, you don't think that you will ever find a guy who makes you feel the way he makes you feel or who has all the qualities he has all in one person. So if part of you, and it may not even be super conscious, is thinking, this is as good as it gets, then why on earth would you risk nothingness and the empty void and the silence of the universe where you have something that is kind of working right now? So the lack mentality you're into right now, subconsciously, is not letting you move forward because you're holding on to this through an umbilical cord that needs to be caught. <laughs> Number three is a lack of strategy. You don't know how to create the connection you want with the quality of guy you want. You don't know how to put yourself out there in such a way that you can make something happen. You're waiting and praying for rain instead of making it rain. Now, if this continues to sound like you, I'm gonna give you five simple steps right now. I'm not saying easy, but simple steps 
you can start practicing right now. If you want to really get to a point where this guy can step up or move out of the way where you can truly attract the guy you want. The first one is I want you to give yourself a rocking chair experience. What I mean by that is this. I want you to close your eyes after you watch this video and I want you to project yourself a few years into the future. And by a few years, I mean 30 or 40 years. Imagine you look back, imagine you get to be 90 and you look back into the story of your life and you can vividly see what you missed out on as a result of staying in this type of situation. I want you to see all the experiences, the lack of connection, the lack of depth, the lack of love, the lack of traveling with someone, the lack of making love consistently, the lack of waking up next to the person you love most, the lack of all the things that you'll miss out on if you continue standing by this stance. And if that viscerally gets you a little bit, I want you to tap into a little bit of that pain so that you can come back to this point in reality and say, do I really want to experience that kind of reality a few years in the future? If the answer is no, then that's the beginning of the motivation. I want you to start seeing what's possible for you and also start seeing what's going to happen if you continue experiencing and taking less than you want. The second step is you need to embrace this idea that you need to be willing to risk and break some things that are not working to get things that are really working for you. Most of us, when we step into comfort, we're unwilling to rock the boat because we're afraid of losing something. But if that something isn't working, then you need to understand that you need to be willing to take more risks or you'll never get what you want. Third step is, I'm going to give you a different analogy. Maybe this will sink in more. Imagine that you have an idea of your perfect home and this perfect home includes an amazing owner suite that overlooks an incredible ocean view. And it also includes a movie theater. And it also includes a gourmet kitchen that has all the utensils you could ever dream about. And also the ability for you to make your favorite dishes with your family without feeling like you're cramped because it's a pretty good sized kitchen. And it also has a great backyard. And it also has a negative edge pool. Now, what you're doing right now in connection with this guy is similar to saying, I'm falling in love with a negative edge pool. It's beautiful, it's incredible, it has this amazing view and it feels really cool inside. But can you live in a pool? The answer is no. You need the kitchen, you need the room, you need the other things in the house to be able to make up for a home. And right now the connection you have with them, the intensity, let's call it, you have with them, is equivalent to having an amazing pool that's missing a few other very necessary ingredients and elements for you to have a whole home. So please understand that you're giving this guy a hall pass because you're valuing certain things that you experience with him higher than the holistic view of everything you need in a relationship, which is not just intensity, it's not just good conversations, it's also commitment and it's also great and it's also the ability to solve challenges when they arise and also the ability to hold hands when things become difficult. That's what's needed. And if the guy isn't willing to move forward, if he, isn't, if he doesn't have the vision or he can't for whatever reason, then you're living in a swimming pool instead of a home. Now, if you're listening to me right now and you're either in a situationship or you're single, I would be willing to bet you're not understanding what's the true cost, not the symptom, that's causing you to stay single. And what I've done is I've taken 12 years of helping women find love in every continent, every walk of life, every age group you can imagine, to help them to attract the guy they want, a life partner, and put it together in a simple quiz you can take in about 60 seconds that will reveal to you the true reason why you're still single. So if you want to participate, all you have to do is go to the first link in the description. You'll see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions, and in about 60 seconds or so, you'll have two things. The answer to the question, why you're still single, and a report that will show you what's the number one thing you need to do based on your blind spot to reverse this trend and attract the guy you want in a fraction of the time. Step number four is you need to start refueling your life with more intensity. If you want to step up for yourself, if you want to ask for more from someone, and part of the reason you're not doing it is because you fear this will go away, is you need to start breathing more life into your own life. You need to start falling more in love with your life. You need to start taking action in ways that allow you to create strong intensity without him. So that if he were to go away, even temporarily, 
you can still be strong, you can still move forward, you still hold the vision for what's possible for you irrespective of him. It could mean more exercise, it could mean more meditation, it could mean more friendship with people who really care and see you, it might mean more volunteering, it might mean more dancing, it might mean more cold showers, it might mean a combination of all the things, but you need to figure out ways right now that are practical, that are daily rituals that allow you to bring the best of you into your life so that A, he can witness that, but B, you can experience your own awesomeness and understand that you don't just think that you deserve better, but you actually deserve better. <laughs> the fifth and last step is you need to have an honest, vulnerable conversation with yourself and with him. And the conversation with yourself is something along the lines of, do I want to continue experiencing this? Am I done with this not getting what I want? The answer is yes, then proceed to the second part of this. The second part of this is talking to him, saying what you feel about him, and that's where you put your cards on the table. Here's what I love about you, here's what I experience from you, here's why I respect you, here's why I admire you, and I'm feeling conflicted because here's the life that I'm looking out for myself, here's what I want, here's the vision I have for a relationship, and it's not happening. So I'm, I'm curious as to what you really want and is that something that you're willing to step into? And if the answer is no, or I can't, or uh, let me figure things out because right now it's not the best time, you need to get a break, a time out from the relationship. Allow him to work on his own stuff and work on your own intensity as he does that so that A, if he's not the guy for you, you can move on and get what you want. B, if he is the guy for you, he's going to feel the pool to connect with you. He no longer gets the gala for free. He needs to invest more time. He needs to invest more energy. He needs to invest more commitment to be able to continue getting the same level of benefits and time and energy from you. <laughs> Otherwise, it's a mismatch in the level of commitment from both of you. Am I saying this is easy? Absolutely not. Am I saying it's doable? It is doable. It's doable if you recognize that what you're doing right now is enabling someone to continue taking all your time and all your energy mentally and emotionally as it relates to our relationship without being willing to give you the thing you're looking for, which is a true life partnership and commitment. Hope this is helpful and useful. If it is, it would mean a lot to me and to my channel if you click like and subscribe. And if you want to continue understanding how you can attract the guy you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, tricks, or stupid techniques, make sure to watch the next video right here.